I used to open my books and stare at the pages like they were written in another language. Ten minutes in, I was already on my phone. Thirty minutes in, I'd scrolled through three apps, replied to random memes, and somehow ended up watching a video about penguins fighting over rocks. And I'd tell myself, tomorrow, I'll be different. But tomorrow never was. Until I discovered something that flipped my brain. Not a productivity app, not a study hack, but something way more basic. Dopamine detox. Sounds dramatic, right? But here's the crazy part. It didn't just help me focus. It made me fall in love with studying, like actually addicted to it. And in this video, I'll tell you exactly how. Let's be real. Most of us aren't lazy. We're just overstimulated. Your brain is being bombarded every second. Notifications, scrolls, shorts, likes, tweets, red bubbles, constant dopamine spikes. So when you finally sit down to study or do something difficult, your brain is like, wait, where's the fun? Where's the quick reward? The truth is, we have trained our brains to expect instant gratification. Studying? No instant reward. Working on something hard? No quick payoff. So your brain does what it's wired to do. Escape to something easier. That's not a discipline problem. It's a dopamine imbalance. And once I understood that, everything changed. You've probably heard dopamine called the pleasure chemical. But that's not quite right. Dopamine is less about pleasure and more about motivation. It's what pushes you to act. It's the chemical that says, this is worth doing. Go get it. So when your brain is used to getting dopamine from TikTok, junk food, or Netflix, why would it ever choose reading, writing, or problem solving? Exactly, it wouldn't. And that's where dopamine detox comes in. It's not about quitting dopamine. That would literally kill you. It's about resetting your brain's reward system so that hard things start to feel good again. Before I learned any of this, I tried everything. Forcing myself to study longer, using fancy planners, guilt-tripping myself into working. Nothing worked. Because I was still giving my brain the easy hits in between. Study 10 minutes, check my phone. Read a paragraph, open Instagram. Watch one lecture, reward myself with 45 minutes of YouTube. So my brain learned, why work hard when I can scroll and still feel good? And even when I did sit down to study, I felt distracted, foggy, and unmotivated. Until one day, I came across the idea of a dopamine detox, and something clicked. Let me break it down, simply. Your brain has a system that's constantly tracking rewards and effort. If the effort is high, but the reward feels low, your brain will label that as futile, pointless. There's even research showing that when animals exert effort without perceiving progress, their brains flood with norepinephrine, the stress chemical, until they give up. Sound familiar? Ever started something new, got frustrated fast, and gave up because it's not working? That's your brain interpreting effort as wasted energy. But here's the twist. If you start removing those quick dopamine hits, your brain becomes more sensitive to smaller, real rewards. Reading a chapter feels satisfying. Solving a problem? Actually enjoyable. Finishing a study session? deeply fulfilling. That's the power of a reset. Let me be honest. When I first heard about dopamine detox, I thought it was overhyped nonsense. No phone, no music, no entertainment? I imagined some monk meditating in a cave, but I decided to try it my way. I wasn't trying to become a monk. I just wanted my brain back. So here's what I did. Step one, I picked one full day, a Sunday. No social media, no YouTube, no video games, no unnecessary phone use, no junk dopamine. Step two, 
I filled the day with boring, quiet, real things. Reading, writing, walking, thinking. And you know what happened? At first, it sucked. I was restless, bored out of my mind, checking my pockets for a phone I had left in another room. But after a few hours, something shifted. I wasn't craving anymore. I wasn't jumping from thought to thought. I felt still. And that stillness, that's where the magic started. I didn't stop at one day. For the next week, I built a rhythm. No social media in the morning. No screens during meals. Deep work sessions with no distractions. Silent walks instead of scrolling. The first thing I noticed, clarity. I could actually think again. Then came the motivation. Studying didn't feel like punishment anymore. It felt rewarding. Like my brain had finally stopped comparing it to a dopamine buffet of endless entertainment. I began craving books instead of buzz, notes instead of notifications. It was wild. And the best part? That motivation was real. Not hype, not adrenaline, just quiet, deep focus the kind that lasts. Before the detox, I studied because I had to. After the detox, I studied because I wanted to. I stopped chasing the perfect routine. I stopped obsessing over study apps and fancy setups. Instead, I focused on one thing, respecting my brain's reward system. That meant starting with easy wins to build momentum, Celebrating small progress, yes, even finishing a page. Ending sessions while I still had energy so I'd look forward to the next one. I realized that motivation isn't something you find, it's something you earn by managing your dopamine wisely. And once you stop fighting your brain, you can actually work with it. If you've never done a dopamine detox, here's a super simple way to start. DD, dopamine detox. No phone for the first hour of the day. Block distractions during focused work. Replace social media breaks with walks or journaling. No screens unless absolutely necessary. Read a real book. Do something analog. Walk, cook, clean, reflect. Be bored on purpose. This is next level only when you're ready. Cut out all high-stimulus inputs. Focus on one deep project. Embrace the discomfort. Let your brain rebalance itself. Remember, this isn't punishment. It's rehab for your attention. Before you start, let me save you some pain. Here are the biggest mistakes I made. Trying to quit everything at once. You don't need to go full monk mode overnight. Start small. Replacing one distraction with another. Deleting Instagram just to binge YouTube equals not a detox. Expecting it to feel good right away. Detoxing is uncomfortable. That's the point. But the clarity comes later. Thinking this is a one-time fix. Your brain needs regular resets, not just one big cleanse. Treat your attention like a muscle. Rest it. Train it protect it. I didn't change my life overnight, but one dopamine detox led to another. One focused session became two, and slowly my brain changed. I started to love doing hard things. Studying became addictive, and now I don't need motivation to start. I just start. If you feel like your attention is broken, if you're always procrastinating, if nothing feels rewarding anymore, you don't need to work harder. You don't need to beat yourself up. You just need to give your brain space to breathe. Do the detox, reclaim your mind, and fall in love with learning again.